Hey guys, it's Namir. Welcome back to Undertale. In the last episode, we did the True Lab. Uh, we went through Alfie's lab. We found out what she did. Um, yeah. <laughs> Why are there no save points here? I don't like this all of a sudden. Anything changed down here? Nope, that's still the same. Still empty. Although we've discovered that the character we are playing is not Namir. So that's different. Um. All right, here we go again. Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it then? Yeah. Ready? Strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. God, Asgore looks so sad. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Uh, what? Tor Toriel? What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been treacherous, and ultimately, it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to. Bleh. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, dreamer. You pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you are right. I am a miserable creature. But do you think we can at least be friends again. No, Asgore. No, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Hey... Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Uh, hi. There's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello. Oh, I 
Hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey, guys. What's up? That voice. Hello. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey. I recognize your voice, too. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowee! I cannot believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with shingles. I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life! Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Y yeah, Asgore. Undyte's totally right about the fish thing. Sometimes you just gotta, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up! Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Elfies? Uh, Elfies? Well, he's right. Let's do it! <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Oh my god. Well, wait. Not in front of the human. Uh, right, sorry. I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, that reminds me, Papyrus. You called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Oh no, that's not good. I don't like the look on Toriel's face. You idiots! While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friend's souls are gonna be mine too. <laughs> And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. <laughs> huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over and over and over. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. Gross. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Uh, even if it means killing you one million times. Mm. Oh. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Ah. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you could do any- If you got past me, you could do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But 
somehow I know you can do it. Yeah. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you too. Come on, you got this. We've got. You've got to win. You can do it. Ugh, no. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You. You. I can't believe. You're all so stupid! All of your souls are mine! Um... Okay. Okay. What? Um, hello? Are you crying or laughing? I can't tell. Oh, we know that voice. Finally! I was so tired of being a flower. Hey! Howdy! Namir, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. This is the best fucking song. Uh, Asriel Dreamer. Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. Uh, oh shit. It's the end. Hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduced how much damage you'll take this turn. The true final battle is finally beginning. Dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory get smaller and smaller. Mm. Oh. oh shit. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Uh... What? Last dream. Uh, after I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Uh... Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh... All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. Fuck! <sighs> then we can do everything all over again. Uh, well, shit. Okay. Oh, wait, what? What? But it refused. Uh... Yeah, I have no idea how the fuck to avoid that. No, I don't want to... Hope. We gotta hold on to our hope.
Ne? And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! And then you'll lose to me again. No, I won't. No, uh, uh. Oh, I'm so bad at that. Bring it on, Asriel. No! Oh my god. Butterscotch pie. And again. Again. I'm sorry, Mr. Snowman. Because you want a happy ending. Of course I want a happy ending, wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want a happy ending? You can feel the empty space in your energy getting smaller and smaller. Because you love your friends. Arr. You can do this. Do this. Oh, I'm not good at bullet hell games. Ooh. Nope, shit. No. Can't win them all. Because you never give up. new. Okay. Isn't that delicious? Your determination. The power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. No, it won't. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Okay. Um. That's certainly interesting. I will say. Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Uh, guess what? Oh! Can't move your body. 
<laughs> Behold my true power. Well, it doesn't matter because I won't give up. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. No. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Fine, go ahead. Keep killing me, Azriel. Try it. Still. Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. Well, I mean, I haven't died yet, so I mean, I think that's a pretty good indication of what my, uh... Nothing happened. You struggled, nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file, nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file, nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe, with what little power you have, you can save something else. Yeah! Undyne! In the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. The lost soul appeared. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. The lost soul stands there. Come on! I'm not your real enemy, Undyne. Come on. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. Yeah! Papyrus! Come on, buddy! Oh, it's Papyrus and Sans. Joke! You told the Lost Soul a bad putt about skeletons. He seems to hate it. But the other Lost Soul seems to like it. Just give up, I do. What are you talking about, Sans? Oop, shit. You asked the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul's trying to hide its joy. Why even try? Puzzle! Come on! Junior Jumble! You'll never see him again. You insulted the lost soul. Suddenly, its memories are flooding back. Seeing how nicely you treated its brother, the other lost soul remembers too. No, wait! You're my friend! I could never capture you! Nah, I'm rooting for you, kid. Oh, god, no. I did not want to do that. That was not what I meant to hit. Ooh, that was scary. Uh, Asgore. Your dad. Oh, it's the two of them. Oh. I keep hitting the wrong frickin' thing. Mercy, you refuse to fight the lost soul. Something about this is so familiar to her. No one will leave again. Yeah, come on! You tell the lost soul you're, you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow she faintly recalls hearing this before. Mm. You tell the lost soul that you have to go if you're going to free everyone. Something is doing with Oh, 
hug. Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. And I... I guess Alfie's will be the last one. <laughs> You ask the lost soul for help on a quiz question. She barely holds back from giving you the answer. You hate me, don't you? No. I mean, I'm still not a fan of what you did. It was real shitty of you, but I don't hate you. You call the lost soul on the phone. She starts to sweat. She doesn't know why, but this is all. This all seems very familiar. I've got to keep lying. Come on. Nerd out! You ask Lossel what her favorite cartoon is. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. No, that's not true! My friends like me, and I like you too! Aww. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh. What are you doing? Hmm. Aww. <laughs> He's so cute. Feel your friend's souls resonating within Azrael. What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no! I don't need anyone! Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Mir, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this. Because you're special, Namir. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. Oh my god, this music! No. That's not just it. I... I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Namir. I care about you more than anybody else. Oh, if only someone said that to me. Uh. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. That's real. So please, stop doing this. And just let me win. Stop it! Stop it now! Namir. I'm so alone, Namir. I'm so afraid, Namir. Namir, I... I... I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Namir? I know. You're not actually Namir, are you? Namir's been gone for a long time. Um, what... What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, 
I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. I forgive you. What? Frisk, come on. You're... You're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep those souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. Oh. Oh, Azrael. The barrier was destroyed. Yo, I forgot how emotional this fucking end of this was. <laughs> Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just... Forget about me, okay? Just go be with people who love you. Comfort him. Give him a hug. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> I don't want to let go. Frisk, you're... you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. Oh, Azriel, no! By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? I will. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. Shut up! <laughs> Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please, wake up. Ah. What's up? Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness. We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! Now, now. The important part is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now, but before then, Perhaps you might want to take a walk? 
You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. If you guys don't know where I'm going. No, you'll see in a second. Because I'm going to cut right to it. Here we are. This is where I wanted to come back to. Before we left. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Abbott are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well... Only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Namir climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Namir hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Namir. In fact, though you have similar uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Namir wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Namir and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you... Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to... We would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices or your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? I just don't want to leave him behind. Bye, Azriel. Alright, now I gotta go all the way back. <laughs> the coffin is empty. You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're finally back. Ugh. Well, just about anyway. <sighs> I've come a long, long way. Everyone. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned! And also that she's a huge dork! 
You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please, do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha <laughs> ha Wow! Those puns are even less funny coming from her! Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile! Hey, Frisk, was without weird expression. Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? And then asked to call me mother? Oh, boy. Wow, Frisk! This really puts our relationship in a new light! Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever! But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. So, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. So, Alfies, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course, I'm gonna go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to have happened to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's an... Anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please! Help me explain what anime is to Asgore! Y you see, it's like a cartoon, but... With swords. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Hold on, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Psst, Frisk, um, you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Uh, no. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction. A lot of fanfiction. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Oh, I see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore! That's not what I meant! It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true! <laughs> Same. Sorry, I don't have time to talk first. I'm supposed to be working right now. But you aren't working! I know, and it's taken all my concentration. Frisk, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages to you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time. Do you not? Yeah, I do, and I checked it. Hey, Alfies! Alfies! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses! Or fighting princesses. I'll see if I can manage to find any like that on Dying. Yeah! On second thought, maybe I won't write fanfic of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Because I'm gonna post it online! It's also fucking weird to do that. Frisk, why don't you take a walk around? Frisk, why don't you fly? It's faster. Yeah, Frisk. Why don't you fly? Hmm, flying sounds a little dangerous. But they can fly. Not with that attitude. Okay, I think it's time for us to go to uh, the above ground now. Let's go to the surface, guys. Yay! Follow me. 
If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. I'm ready. It's about dang time. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Brisk, you live with this. The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans. What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yeah, man. Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Uh, uh, Sans, where you going? Man, do I have everything? Do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Awkward. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. <laughs> That's all I wanted, Toriel, just not in, you know, gross underground. That's all. Yay! And that is what is considered to be the real, true ending of uh, Undertale. Oh, that is the true pacifist ending, and in order to get that, uh, you need to have um, done the neutral ending first, um, and then you need to have had uh, done, like, become, like, done the date with the, the blah, blah, Papyrus and Undyne and Alfie, so you had to do the True Lab stuff. Um, there are a few other things as well. Papyrus! He got his wish! Um, there are a few other things as well, but for the most part, those are the main things. So, yeah! Oh, man. There is, of course, one more ending, uh, which is the uh, genocide ending slash uh, no mercy run, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, finally, number one nose nozzle champions. Um, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like I said. <laughs> oh God, Onion Sun. Oh. Undyne, what are you doing? Girl? Aw, oh, she smooched her! Oh my god, that's adorable. That's adorable. Uh, Undyne, calm down. <laughs> oh 
Oh man. Wash your leg. I'm very sad that none of the washers I ran into said that. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, I'm at a ton. Oh, it loves the blue Shiren. Yay. That's awesome. Yeah, you go, Metaton. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Fucking Cinder plane. Finally confesses. What? I don't. Did they find true love? Use your imagination. Yeah. All right. Gross. <laughs> oh man. This is awesome. I'm so glad I finished this, and I'm so glad I played it, too! I really hope everybody enjoyed it. I really, really do, because it was a lot of fun, even though I recorded this all in literally one sitting. This has taken me, like, ten hours so far, and my- oh, Um... My- like, I have a sore throat, so this has absolutely killed my throat, but you know what? It's so worth it. <laughs> It was so worth it! Uh, I think it gave the characters a bit more of a personality, like their voices and what have you, so... Yeah. Oh, man. <sighs> Good old Mount Ebbett. Hopefully there won't be any more people... falling. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Yeah! I, I think you're just supposed to, like... Um make all the credits yellow, and that's how you open the door. But I have no idea how people do that, so... I don't know, that's just what I heard. That's like Kiersey though, you know what I mean? Or Hairset, whatever. I read it online, which probably means it's fake. So. That noise sounds really familiar and I can't place it. Oh wow, this is making me feel fucking nauseous. Oof. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah, uh, I, like I said, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, as much as I enjoyed recording it because, you know, like, it is still honestly one of, like, it's a really great game and I do love it, um, you know? And, like, the soundtrack, oh my god, Toby Fox just made such an amazing game and, like, he's always been a music masterminds, so, I mean, that's no surprise there, is it? Um, so. Oh, man. Oh, there's only ones I touched. That's it? Really? Boo. Oh, well. <laughs> without you, all this would be impossible. It's true. Without you guys, I wouldn't be sitting here playing Undertale for you. So, thank you all so, so much. Oh. worth the back pain and the throwing out my voice and everything. Oh, Toriel. 
Why would you leave it there while I'm sleeping? That's weird. <laughs> it's gonna get like weird and soggy. <laughs> and there you go. Undertale. The end. That's it. That's the end. <sighs> With this beautiful song. Oh my god. So yes, once again, thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Uh, I really hope that you all loved this and... Oh man. I will see you guys the next Let's Play. Bye!